Hey guys, what's going on? It's Madre Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a deck that you guys super heavily requested on one of the last videos. I did my best to recreate that Maokai Drain deck that beat us. Um, I don't have the exact list, but what I, I basically took what I saw, flushed it out a bit, and made what I think is a pretty coherent list. Uh, this deck looks to take things like Phantom Prankster and Nevergate Collector, constantly making things like the Monkeys from Monkey Business, Monkey Idol and uh, random saplings from Maokai and things to drain your opponent out. Make it so they cannot kill your units because it will kill them. Um, it, it's, so, it's so dumb, but it's super fun. And it actually it actually wins games. We have some pretty cool interactions here. Uh, obviously, things like Pool Shark and Hapless Aristocrat are there just to block early. And Pool Shark gaining us more cards. Hapless Aristocrat kind of gaining us another card. Basically, another, another iteration of Drain, which is pretty important. Uh, the Sapling Tosses are really nice because they give you a Challenger unit. They trigger your Maokai on the following turn. Things like that. All for one mana. Uh, Elise is the queen huh, of um, constantly just like flooding the board with units. And that's what we want here. A nice, cheap, anti-aggressive unit. That gives us things to block with later that turn into drains. Uh, Glimpse Beyond is just a no-brainer. It sacrifices your unit for more cards. Uh, and we do need card draw in this deck. We have to be able to find our drain cards and usually a Maokai to win. Lineup up's a pretty cool card that I implemented. Um, because the Powder Cake plus Maokai Synergy. If you burst speed a lineup up and you have Maokai in the field, you get a Sapling at burst speed. Which can be pretty nuts. Um... When you're trying to drain out the opponent, especially because you can just like you can throw the knock them down face or whatever. Very fun. Uh, monkey business really easy to activate plunder when you have six drain units in the deck, and so you just get more monkeys, which are pretty tough for the opponent to deal with. They deal two damage if you have one of the drain units on board, which uh, adds up very fast. Obviously, three copies of vile feast. Uh, our stuff dies really often, so two black spear blighted caretaker to be able to rush out not only um, some board clearing effects, but also just sacrifice a body for more bodies. Uh, Monkey Idol, another no-brainer, very strong here. Obviously, we have our six drainers and then the Maokai up top. Um, the deck is not super competitive, but it's so fun, guys. <laughs> it's it's so fun. Uh, and I know a lot of you are looking forward to seeing this. So here it is. Let's take it on Plat Ladder and we'll see how it does. Okay, ooh, Jace Heimer. This is, I think, one of the most underplayed decks in the game right now. I think this deck's really strong. The one I did a video about uh, previously. I don't want you... I don't want you... I think these two are pretty good keeps, though. I'm looking for, like, Maokai and, yeah, Drainer, like, Phantom Prankster. I definitely preferred Neverglade Collector because while Phantom Prankster does deal damage to the opponent's Nexus, Neverglade Collector is, like, a two-point life swing, right? We take one from them and give it to us. Uh, it helps keep you healthy, which is pretty important in this deck because you don't have, like, many control tools outside of line up, Vile Feast, Blocking, <laughs> and, like, Black Spear. That's pretty much it. I'm happy to take the pass here. I'm saving Pool Shark for when we can actually cast a fleeting card. We don't want to lose it. I don't bite. Oh, take those. Wouldn't be super surprised to see our opponent go something like pass pass into um, summon two three threes or something. You know, start leveling up that Jace. Line him up's kind of nice. I think we'll go Monkey Idol pretty much. Regard. Oh, Shock Blast. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna just get a Monkey Idol going. Still looking for Maokai. We don't need a sapling toss. But uh, we're going to start getting things going here pretty easily, I think. Okay, yeah. In goes Monkey. Three more damage. This deck shouldn't really have any healing. So any damage we do is, like, permanent. Okay, Monkey Idol. And then next turn, we're going to go Phantom Prankster. At least that's the plan. Damage already ticking up. Just from our monkeys. You do you can flip Maokai in this deck. It does happen. It's not your like win condition of choice, but like I said, it does happen sometimes. Mystic shot our idol. I could cash in the glimpse here, but I think I'm just gonna take this. And then play Prankster. And we'll hold glimpse for later. Also, I really could use the card draw, so I don't want to, like, slam glimpse on something that might get interrupted. Um, this Mystic Shot's fine. Let's play a Pool Shark. We're looking like we could get to the point where we could actually use the card draw now. Uh, and a pass, huh? Okay, I'm going to save Sapling Toss. 
Good chance we just find more... Ooh, I love monkey business here. Good chance we find more um, drain units later in the game. monkey business i don't want phantom prankster to die here but we're able to put so much pressure on the board i'll deny so sad i mean how sad is it really though you know like opponent has four mana we get to put a lot more units out like pool shark where do you stand on cold shots uh i don't really want to jam a vile feast in just for some extra damage i mean we are really close to just killing them though no Vile Feast. We'll save Vile Feast. We can use Vile Feast to possibly shoot one of our own units. They go to three. Which is just lethal? Right? Like, like we just kill them? We just line them up, knock them down, three damage? Are you dead? <laughs> Not a bad first showing, huh? Not a bad game one. Oh, GG. GG. Talia Malphite. All right. This matchup might be tough because they have things like... Like, they could just overwhelm a Malphite and, like, kill us, right? Uh, okay. We'll go here and here. Really looking for, like, Maokai and the Drainers. We have no way to drain yet. No Neverglades. No Prankster. This deck does have a lot of way to grant vulnerable, but like our deck's uniquely suited to get around vulnerable granters because we make so many dinky, stupid units that we don't care about, right? Like if they have two Roiling Sands and you play Blighted Caretaker, both the vulnerables go on the saplings, which like completely invalidates the entire point of the card. It always makes me giggle. Uh, sapling toss, okay. Like we're pretty ready if we can find if we can find a drain engine. Sure. There's nothing to fear. Uh, yeah, you're in there. And then you're gonna block my 1-1 one, one when I attack with Elise and I'm gonna be sad about it. Another pool shark. All right, so we have some card draw. We have some card draw. Obviously we can start getting like the monkey idol down, getting that going. Uh, I'm not gonna kill this for my opponent. I'm gonna make them kind of work for it. Okay. And they take it. Interesting. Um, yeah, we will play the monkey idol. I know it gets vulnerable. Kind of sucks, but then the the uh, the actual monkey, yeah, gets the second vulnerable, which kind of ruins it. There we go, prankster. Okay, we're we are online. And wins behind me. I want something stupid to get vulnerable, like hapless. I do not want Prankster to get vulnerable. Okay, now we can play Prankster. Right? Now anything that dies, it's just, it's strictly bad for them. Yep, you're gonna go after my monkey idol. I get that. It sucks for me. Yep. Okay, let's go Sapling Toss. Alright. Monkey dies. Two more damage to our opponent. And then we get to open attack. Dragging the 3-1. Getting in with everything else. Or at least swinging with everything else, right? Like this. At least makes another spider. And then I think this next turn, we want to cash in these pool sharks. Uh-huh. Eight? This damage adds up so fast, it's nuts. Okay, yeah, you ground slam. I'm totally okay with that, because I'm still just dealing damage to you, right? You kill my guy. Oh, no. Everything sucks. This is so sad. What am I going to do? <laughs> okay, they go to nine. Uh, do I want to draw two cards or just one card? Probably one card a turn, I think. One fleeting card a turn. Monkey business. Nice. And glimpse. Okay. We're going to keep the good stuff coming. Uh, any unit killed will activate our monkey business. So, like, I can just Blighted Caretaker, for example. But I think I'll start with just Pool Shark. Sure. Glimpse now that they don't have the uh, the four mana card that deals three damage. Ground slam up. Looking for Neverglade Collector. Okay. Uh, Monkey Idol pretty good here. 
Yeah, we just get to block. Like I said, any time they attack, we're just dealing damage to them, right? Boom, seven. Uh, here's monkey business. This will put you to five. Here's monkey idle for more monkey shenanigans. Then I just get to slam in with my units. And, like, they, they're in between a rock and a hard place, right? You either, like, don't block and you take damage or you block and you kill them and you take damage. Uh, yeah, here's the open. No second drainer is kind of rough because if they do have ground slam for prankster, it's not it's not great for us. Like that. Um, yeah, I could cash in on a little damage by going like glimpse right now, right? So I could like glimpse here immediately, and I think honestly that's worth it. Our opponent goes to one life. We draw cards. Yeah, we have monkeys coming up, right? Bink, bink. Just wanted to play. Why does that sound like a horror movie? Okay, we'll play the, the other monkey idol. Uh-huh. Opponent's gonna have to, like, kill us on the open, though, right? They're gonna have to kill us on the open, and they can't attack into our monkeys, or they just die. Because the second we get priority, I just get to kill a monkey with, like, Blighted Caretaker. And that is uninteractable burst damage. That is a lot of landmarks they just finished there. As if we needed any more damage, right? As if. Sick Malphite, bro. Sick Malphite. I think that is their route to victory, is like setting my board so I can't block. But uh, unfortunately for them, it's not going to work out. Here's the GG. Well played. 2-0 with the Malphite. I mean, the Malkai Drain. Who'd have thought, right? Who'd have thought? Scouts. All right. Um, I would say this matchup seems pretty tough, but if they don't get like misfortune, it's probably not that bad for us, right? Like, especially with something like Maokai, we have loads of blockers forever, basically. So we can find like, I don't know, Neverglade Collector. We're kind of in business. Here's Aristocrat. Oh, nice. Okay. Fleet Feather Tracker, not incredibly good against Hapless Aristocrat. Sapling Toss, okay. We can activate Maokai with that if we want to. On turn five, Blinding Assault, sure. Okay. Pass, I guess? Like, <laughs> you can't really do anything, can you? Uh, oh, nice. Neverglade Collector. All right, the perfect draw. Lady Elise. Lady Elise. Lady Elise. Okay, we just don't want to see misfortune. Oh, It'll be over sad, sad. All right. Um, Thanks, buddy. I got my food. I think we go Aristocrat and then just pass. So, one of these birds is going to go after Elise, which does kill Elise, but it also kills the bird. Another Neverglade Collector. What does that mean for us? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it means we're going to go for it. Okay, yeah, so you kill the one ones. That makes sense. Kill the one ones. Pass. Kill two more one ones. That is really good. Miss Fortune, kind of a pain here, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, here's Maokai. I will tend this garden. And then next turn we go Neverglade Collector. We take the sapling and we go after Valor. Get rid of one of the, the scout units, right? Ooh, Blighted Caretaker's pretty good though. We can go after a lot of stuff with that. I still think I think collector is probably the move. So we go collector, we get the sapling, shoot the sapling after Valor, and then we can cast monkey business, which gives us a monkey for next turn and a sapling. Why do you have to have Aegis? That's so bad. Ah, oh, that's insane. All right, misfortune just like levels. That's not okay, is it? I could still go after Valor so they can't challenge twice. That might just be the move, honestly. 
It's so bad, but... <laughs> oh, that's a pretty nuts start, isn't it? Valor, Misfortune, Tack Twice, Rally. Ugh. Like, our, sapling, our saplings are just, like, one one damage away from going after. Don't have sharps. Oh, and the sharp side. Oh, disgusting. Yep, I take three million damage. Maokai's going to die. I can cast Monkey Business. I guess that's a card. Maokai dies, but so does Valor. So that's something. Does Fortune have Overwhelm again? She does. That's so annoying. So we'll throw some blockers in the way. Like, I don't know, just here, probably. <laughs> then we'll save the rest for when we have a Neverglade Collector and try to get there that way. It's, uh, it's going to be tough, lads. It's going to be tough. To the forest. To the forest. Oh, that's right. That wasn't even their attack turn. Oh, no. This is not good at all. The wood Into Genevieve. Oh, my God. Ah. I, so I can't even play Neverglade Collector because she just dies. I can play Blighted Caretaker, but I'm literally just taking six from only the Misfortune, not counting the Overwhelm. I don't think there's any way for me to get through this. I go something like Pull Shark into Neverglade Collector and then try to gain enough life off of everything dying from the Misfortune ability. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, I take three. Oh, that sucks. And then I play Neverglade Collector. And if our opponent full attacks, we get to drain three. Alright, we'll just go like block, block, block. We go to one life. It's fine, guys. It's totally fine. Uh-huh. Ouch. Ouch. I don't think I can deal 10. Mm-mm. Not looking good. Do Prankster? Do you have, like... Do you have another rally? Because that's just not fair. C3 of the bold. She's so bold. There you are. There you are. Okay, maybe we go after Genevieve. We go after this. The Grove follows. Attack with Caretaker as well. Just try to get any point of drain that we possibly can. Everything else is like, we're going to die on the attack, so we need... We need somehow to get there. We, we can't, but I am trying my best. Oh, all right. GG. GG. Oh, we did get them to six, though. We did get them to six. We, we tried our best. Well played. Misfortune Scout Rally is a little too good. Caitlyn Timo. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean... If they can deal with our drain units, it might be troublesome. If not, I'm not really worried about it. Maybe I'll keep one sapling toss to deal with the Teemo on one. All right, we drew Vile Peace anyway. But yeah, like Teemo on one could kind of run away with the game. Not anymore, now that we have answers to it. Do I still sapling toss on one if they play Teemo now? Probably not. Probably just bank it, play Elise. Yeah. We'll just build up our build up our board and we'll use the sapling toss later when we have like a neverglade collector all right here's your lease i know what lurks in the shadow the other card i was considering throwing in is like spirit leech because i often just want to have more cards the pull sharks help a lot though the pull sharks and the glimpses obviously oh stinky wump card is just it's just really not that good i really don't like that card it doesn't it doesn't do anything yeah, i guess that could be good i don't know it, two puff caps like isn't a lot i'd rather play the guy that gives you a spell mana when it hits all right bring on the teemo oh if there's a caitlin 
Do I... So, obviously, I have Vile Feast Teemo. Yeah, so we have Vile Feast Teemo. The question is, do I block and glimpse the Caitlyn? I don't think I need to. I think we can just take it. We really don't care if our stuff gets hit. Because, like, we want them to die eventually anyway. Just hopefully when I have Neverglade Collector already on the board. Okay, yeah, let's let's get some damage in here. We don't want to play any of these pool sharks because our plan is already play Neverglade Collector, right? Glimpse. And so I'm basically I would just be burning cards. Line them up, that's nice. Huh, that's kinda of funny. And a second Elise. Uh don't have any strong feelings about that. I think we'll probably just take our turn. Get the Neverglade Collector going. That's kind of annoying. Timo, that is not regulation equipment. Uh, I'll take a hit from Timo. Okay, and Poison Dart. If they can level Timo, then I will not take a hit from Timo. I will line him up and knock him down. So I guess if they have another Timo in hand, like third Timo, or they're just playing straight up like the Puff Cap card, then yeah, they get in there. But otherwise, it should be okay. <laughs> All right. What are the odds the deck plays like Thermogenic Beam? That would kind of suck, right? Lovely day for a battle. Lovely day for a battle. They only have four cards. We have like quite a bit of draw with these pool sharks here. Now, Caitlyn does get to be a problem. She flips pretty fast once you start getting like Teemo going and stuff. Once you get the puff caps. Oh. What do we lose? Oh, not our collector. Come on. It's the only one that's good. It's the only one I want. So yeah, she's already at two of five. And she's like, she's too big for our saplings to kill. Oh, no. They have the removal for him? That's so sad. Are they just hoping to hit him with the trap? No shot, right? No shot? Oh, thank God. Okay. That would have sucked. Um... Yeah, we can get in there. I don't want to give Caitlyn the extra hit yet. We don't need to do that. Although, if they just shoot Neverglade Collector, again, really sad for us. Don't want to see that. Oh, that's fine. That's way better for us, because we have removal for Teemo. Boundary? Ooh. Kind of worrisome, but, like, we do gain a lot of life, right, with Neverglade Collector. Uh, do we pull shark this turn? No, I think we don't really need to pull shark at all for a while. Teemo, that is not That's kind of equipment. worrisome. Third Teemo. Let's start draining him out. Teemo, that is not regulation equipment. If one of Caitlyn's traps hits my Neverglade collector, I'm going to be so upset. All right. Prankster is a great draw. Yeah, sure, you you double my puff caps, which is like kind of whatever. I get free chumps here. Actually, let's block here, and then we'll play Phantom Prankster to get like one extra one extra damage. It's playtime. Farina, what brings you here? That's very worrisome. Okay, only four. Not Neverglade Collector? Let's go! Wow, that was so lucky. So lucky. Our Prankster didn't die. Our Neverglade Collector didn't die. All it did was give us more board space to kill our opponent. And I think we just do. I think we just Blighted Caretaker and they just die. Right? I mean, we could play it safer by going Pool Shark Blighted. Okay, not a removal spell. Here's Blighted. And then, <laughs> then they just die. GG. Let's go. Drain too strong. All you have to do is dodge the incredibly unlikely Karina hit on your drainers. Huh. All right. <clears throat> Kindred Viego. This matchup seems not very good because they can kill our stuff. Like... Yeah, I mean, their stuff gets really big. They have, like, Kindred. Uh, like, if they can kill our Collector, we're screwed, right? 
We just don't do anything. Hmm. Hapless. Okay. Hapless, not bad. Uh, I will play him. Should be able to get a nice open attack. Deal one damage. Every every point counts. Prankster. All right. A little bit of redundancy. What do they have? I will be playing probably Monkey Idol this turn. And then either Maokai or Prankster on this turn. Uh, perhaps? I was going to say perhaps Maokai. Sure. Yeah, I don't particularly care. Getting Prankster running is nice. Yeah, I think I think we'll just play Prankster. We don't want to see Kindred though. Uh, I will pass priority, and then if they vile feast something, I activate Black Spear and I can kill their Kindred. Okay, so Kindred's going to hit my Monkey Idol. Is a bit annoying. Play Maokai. Like we're okay with Monkey Idol dying. We're just not super stoked about it. Yeah, easy block. Easy block with Powder Monkey, right? And then we get to toss out Black Spear and see if it works. Unlikely to work, but we're going to try it. Not unexpected. And this is where we kind of run into trouble with the Kindred. We go after it again. We go Neverglade Collector. It makes a sapling, right? And we have two Drainers, which is good. But if Kindred gets to stay alive, then uh, we're going to lose the Prankster. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Okay, as long as you don't have a second, like, way to keep Kindred alive, we're fine. If you do, then we're in a bad spot. And we're going to have to go for the, the Maokai flip, which is, like, not the way this deck wants to try to hit. The second Twin Disciplines! Oh my god, it's so good! That's so annoying! Alright, um... Kill the Leech? War Monkey business. Guess we'll just... Monkey business. What do we got here? Eight. Oh, okay. It's going to go to ten. A good hunt. A good hunt. Then Kindred gets big really fast. And the deck's really good at generating slays. Glimpse would be nice. Okay. Never really collector. That's nice. Anything that draws this card is pretty good here. Glimpse. Pool Shark. Should be at like 13? 12. 12 to 25. I have a, a long way to go, though. Long way to go. Every turn, we generate a sapling. It's basically three, right? I will pass priority. We want to have a Spiderling on board at, like, all times, because the Spiderling is going to be, like, the thing it makes, it targets, right, instead of Maokai. And that's pretty important. Okay, never really collector. Opponent's a 10. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? 16 of 25. We are getting there. The toss 2 helps every turn. We've seen one Vengeance. Whoa. Okay, well, I mean, I 
am not going to let that happen. This seems very good for us. <laughs> the third dit twin. Okay. All right. Sure. What happens here? You mark my new spiraling. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Mark my new spiraling. Darn. We lose our Neverglade collector, I guess. It sucks. Um, I can, like, caretaker here. And get in there. Like, kill these two guys. Get in there for a couple more damage. We're not... I don't think winning with damage. We've lost most of our drainers. We really need Maokai to flip, and then somehow we need to not die. It's going to be a tough one. Alright, at least we know there's no more copies of Twin Disciplines, right? That's something. Never... <laughs> another Neverglade. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. So, Blighted Caretaker will level Maokai this turn. If Maokai survives. The atrocity <laughs> leads me to believe there's no vengeance in hand. I was going to say, I'm hoping the hand is just a bunch of, like, crap, like, palms. Right? Maybe even, like, wills. Ooh, fresh soil. Okay. Uh, so, I can vile feast something in response to a kill spell on Maokai. In case that's relevant. Easy blocks. We'll flip the boy. We'll play the Neverglade Collector. Oh, gonna gain some life, huh? What if I don't let you? What if I block, block, vile feast my own sapling? What's this? What's this? Just the glimpse? Okay. Block, block, vile feast... No, well, Vile Feast is here. Vile Feast here because we want the saplings to stay around for the collector to trigger, right? We're also coming up on like two full of the board. Okay, we do the thing. Yeah, you gain no life. And then we're going to overwrite the spider that's not dying with our Neverglade Collector. Number three. We have four deaths. Okay, here we go. Going for the dub. For all of the marbles. Important to note that our opponent has one. Oh, they go to one life. One. Oh, they have um one turn to kill us. Because they have one, one card because they glimpsed. Okay, we get a sapling, so we have blockers. It's their last turn. Vile Feast. What does that do for us? Uh, possibly gain us a life, but we're at 20, so not really anything. Uh-huh. Sure. What else do you have? Okay. I get you, but I don't think it's going to be enough. With only three mana, I just, like, block, block. If I had to, I could, like, Vile Feast my Sapling and then Black Spear or something. Or Vile Feast something for another extra blocker. Now I'll do it. I want a spider. You don't get a spider. And that's looking an awful lot like GG. Let's go. Let's go. I did not expect to win that one. Happy we got there. Another Kindred. This one, the PNZ variant. Very good at killing things, which is bad for us because we need our guys to survive. I think we just full mole this. Okay, we have Drainers. We have Monkey Idol. They're not super good at killing things that are this big, though. They have a lot of Mystic Shots, a lot of Vile Feasts. This could even be the one that runs Go Hard. Kind of hoping it is because that just means more cards that don't kill our Drainers. And they are kind of slow to, like, finish the game. 
They Although they have the Fearsome package, which is going to be really tough for us to block. Basically, nothing in our deck blocks Fearsome. Yeah. Well, That's I did say I wanted to see the world. Um, yeah, I'm still just going to play Elise. I could go for, like, a line up and try to knock them down, but the then they just, like, Vile Feast or Mystic Shot the Keg, and all of a sudden, not only we're not killing that, we're not doing anything else. All right. Uh, what I'm worried about now is if they play the other Sentinel and then shoot our Spiderling. Now, again, we can, like... I was gonna say we can like counter with our own like removal, right? So if they want to vile feast our spiderling, we could have vile feast in response. I'm not going to, but that was an option available to us. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to play minion again next turn, I'm totally okay with that. 100% fine with me. Here is a prankster. I don't I don't want to lose either of these to Kindred. Okay, so if I'll be our own guy, then um Kindred doesn't trigger. Let me pass priority. Yeah. Okay, now it goes on Monkey Idol, which is less good for our opponent than it hitting Prankster, for sure. For oh, I don't like that at all. That is not good. That is definitely zero bueno. Um, line him up, knock him down on Sentinel, perhaps, though. It does allow us to go pretty wide. We can hit, like, a glimpse on whatever Vi's grabbing if we want. Or... If Vi grabs Phantom Prankster, we can block here, let that resolve, and then glimpse the thing that Kindred's going to kill. I also could do this and then glimpse, and then Kindred doesn't get the stack at all. That's probably better. Just take the hit, though. But we're at the point in the game... Where I believe we're kind of just going to have to jam stuff and try to get there. Uh, Phantom Prankster is a pretty good pickup. We'll play Nevergilly Collector next turn, but I want to get these um, monkey businesses running. Yeah, I don't expect this to live more than a turn, so we're just going to... We're going to try to squeak in as much damage as physically possible. And then we're just going to have to get there on burn. Which is doable, right? They go to six. Now the deck could run the deck runs Vile Feast, the deck can run Whale. All sorts of stuff that is bad for us. Vile Feast, okay. Its heart beats fast now. Mm. Can we go aristocrat instead of monkey business? No, we'll go we'll go one monkey business. Opponent at nine? Ugh. Gonna be tough. What's our Maokai at? Probably not very... Yeah, nine. No. Ten, eleven. File feast, huh? What are you, are you gonna grab a Spiderling? Doesn't even seem good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We do not linger. Kindred kills the hapless aristocrat. That's dying anyway. It's just a free block. We take some damage. We play Neverglade Collector. And we hope they don't have Vengeance or Thermogenic Beam. And we try to get there. Here's Collector. Please die. <laughs> Lovely day for a battle. Ah! 
Ah. Ooh, do I vile feast a monkey? <laughs> I could vile feast the monkey, squeeze out one extra point of damage. <laughs> so bad. I do not think we have any way to win this. Full shark? I mean, okay. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Blocker. Okay, we're seeing two cards. Currently, we're not dead on board. Okay, I think they're just gonna try to kill us. Now we're. Now we are dead on board. Yeah. Because I can play monkey business, but it doesn't matter because it dies, and I don't get the other monkey. So I get one sapling, it gets pulled by Vi, and Kindred kills us. Ah. <sighs> I think this is just a really rough matchup for us. Let me choose my blockers while thank you oh so much. Oh, GG. GG. We tried. We tried. Can't win them all. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Bit of a departure from the normal competitive stuff, but I thought it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if you want to see more like kind of meme -y fun stuff like this, or if you want me to stick with the more competitive things, uh, just let me know down in the comments. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I'll see you next time.